Hi guys, I'm Jim and this is JNR Woodworking. No Jim's fix it shop today. Sorry guys. I want to go over a fixture that I bought and I used to make my own. We've all made these things. They're for doing finger joints or box joints, whatever you want to call them. It's just a piece of plywood. You cut a slot, you put the finger in, and then you have to cut the next slot, but you have to get the spacing properly done. And once you get it on your miter gauge, then you have to adjust it from side to side to get it tuned in so your finger joints are tight. And that can be a problem. Uh, once you take it off, then you have to go through all that setup issues again. And uh, it's just not worth it to me anymore to go through all this. New woodworkers, this is the way to go until you can get enough money saved up to buy a regular box joint fixture. There's a lot of them on the market. Uh, right now for me, this stuff is just kindling. We won't be using this anymore. I went out and got a Incra iBox fixture. And this thing is, it is beyond nice. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's a beautifully made, uh, it's made in the USA. I don't really need to say any more. It's an aluminum extruded fixture. Now a lot of times uh, when I think of an aluminum extrusion, I think of a thin, cheap piece of aluminum because once you extrude it, you can make it very strong and stiff, but still make it thin and cheap. The thing that amazed me when this came, I ordered it online. I got it from Hartville Tools. It was $137.66 and there was no shipping. The thing that amazed me the most about this is when I got it, how heavy it was. And I, I'm thinking, what the heck did they do to make this thing so heavy? Is it thick cardboard or what? But I'm not going to bore you on putting it together. There are plenty of videos online right now that show you how to assemble it. That is where I found this. And uh, I watched several different videos on using it and assembling it. And I decided I'm going to try one. If I don't like it, I can send it back. Well, I have to say it's way beyond liking it. Because this thing is really well built, well engineered and thought out. You can either use it on a right tilt or a left tilt saw. Or you can use it on a router table. Now I'm going to show you... Here's some practice joints I did to get it tuned in. That's what you use this red, I don't know if you can see it. There's a red knob on it. That red knob is what adjusts the distance on the notch that you're going to make. It adjusts the distance on these two pins. And you make it just a cut with your saw blade. Then you put it down on here. And you adjust these pins. They spread apart. Until you get a nice snug fit. Then you make. I took a board about half this width. And I actually made the joint. It was a little sloppy. Now once you do that. You don't turn the red knob again. You turn this silver knob. And it has teeth in it. And it has a little slot right down here at the bottom. And the red mark, the red knob has marks on it. 
Now when you turn that knob, the silver knob, for one mark on that red knob, that's one thousandth of an inch. You're moving them pins one way or another. You can tweak that thing in as tight or loose as you want to make it. Depends how much room you want for glue, I guess. Slide this thing back on here. Now, they sell these things and they send you directions. Now, if you're a guy like me, you don't look at the directions. You can say, I put this together and I use it and I never looked at the directions. It's because they send you a CD you can watch on television and it says the same thing the book does. But it does, a, it does an awesome job. I had a, a customer that ordered a cabinet and uh, it was uh, a, for a classroom. The uh, school wrote a grant and some company gave them each classroom six Chromebooks. Now I'm not sure what a Chromebook is. It looks like a small version of a laptop computer with a little less power and memory. But the kids use it. This is for a first grade classroom. And uh, in fact I'm going to go deliver this cabinet tonight and get it out of here because I got other things to do. So let me spin this around and I'll show you the cabinet I made and the joints I put on the corners. This is a cabinet. She's got six Chromebooks. Uh, it's wired. You can just plug them in, slide them in the hole, and they're out of the way. Right now when I went out to measure, she's got all six of them spread out all over on her cupboards with plugged in the different outlets and it's a mess. She wanted something to put it in. So we built this. Now here's the joints. I'm going to pick this camera up and I'm probably going to make you all seasick. But this is a joint that we got with that eye box. Now that was the first joint I made with it. I haven't had any practice. We just made this one and see what happens. But I think it came out really nice. Uh, should be happy with it. Now for you gadget guys like myself, I gotta show you the back of this thing. I think the wiring on the back is almost as good as the cabinet. <laughs> I just had to show you that. But they had a, they bought them the Chromebooks. It came with a mouse, headphones, and what they, she does is she puts the mouse and the headphones, she don't even unplug them, on top of the Chromebook. That's why the openings are so large. It slides the whole thing in the hole. And keeps it all together and you don't have to worry about losing parts. Uh, they gave them a power strip I mounted on here and we mounted up all the transformers, drilled some holes in the back for the wires to come out inside the front. But I'm sure she'll be as happy with that as I am building it and uh, Again, the eye box was awesome. I think this is a well worth the money that I paid for it. And uh, typically when I did a lot of boxes, I just do 45s or butt joints. I wouldn't really do finger joints because it was, it was a hassle trying to get them homemade fixtures to come out with a nice tight fit. This thing, all you got to do is throw the dado blade on, con, everything lines back up, and you can just go. So, from now on, when I make my jewelry boxes and other stuff, I think I'm going to switch over to all finger joints. They go together nice. As you clamp it, it just 
totally squares itself up. You don't have to worry about that. It came out uh, a lot better than I thought. And again, this was not a gift. I do not, when I do a review on a tool, it is not a gift. It's a tool that I have purchased. I don't accept a uh, gifts to do reviews on. And when people on YouTube do that, I can't really honestly say I believe what they're saying. Because when they get done reviewing it, they get to keep the tool. So the tools you see me review are the ones that I own. And uh, that's the only way I do it. So until next time, keep your tools sharp, your shop dusty, and make yourself a box. We'll talk to you soon.